In this video, I'll show you how to conduct a site survey. After binding the gateway to a node, we recommend performing a site survey. Site surveys display the signal strength between the gateway and the bound nodes. Green indicates a strong signal, yellow a good signal, red a weak, and M equals missed packages. However, any missed packages will automatically be resent. Weak and missed signals doesn't necessarily mean your application has inadequate signal strength. There are a lot of factors that determine the appropriate signal strength for your application. Depending on the details of your application, even if 20% of the signals sent out are missed, this could still be acceptable for your particular application. Review our Conducting a Site Survey and Interpreting the Results document for more information. On the controller, scroll down to ISN Radio, then press Enter. Scroll down to Site Survey, press Enter again. The flashing one indicates that you are about to perform a site survey with node number one. Press enter. The controller will send out 100 signal packs. It will then display the strength of each signal pack. When finished, be sure to back out of the site survey mode as the wireless system will not function properly until this is done. With the standard antenna that ships with the radio, you can communicate six miles with a clear line of sight. This gives you plenty of signal strength to penetrate concrete, wood, and brick walls in your plant. Note that radio signals cannot penetrate metal. If you need to get around a metal object, such as a wall, you can use our extension cable to mount the antenna above the obstruction. Or if you need to get around a large obstacle, for example in an outdoor application, you can incorporate our multi-hop radios. Multi-hop radios incorporate repeaters that send the signal around the obstruction. Thanks for watching.